Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be doing anti-cheat. Uh, yeah. So this is going to be the basics to, like, uh, anti-cheat, where, um, basically, we're just going to be doing speed hack, we're going to be, uh, doing, sp we're going to, um, be, uh, doing it for speed hacks, jump hacks, and health hacks, so we're going to be, uh, pre preventing people from doing that. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add a local script, and I'm going to call it anti-cheat. And um, if you guys are actually doing this for a real game, you probably shouldn't call it anti-cheat. You should call it, like, a random name so that they won't be able to, like, trace it. Because um, how people do these hacks are, uh, is they have these programs that um, they're like a console, so they can just uh, input a line of text or a uh, line of code, and it'll run that on the game, so they can, like, disable your anti-cheat. So you'd want to name this a random name, but uh, if you don't, I have something that you can do uh, that I'll show you later. Okay, so let's get right into this. So the first thing that we're going to get is the humanoid, so I'm going to do local human. And a cool thing that I, that I um, found out, like a like two weeks ago is that if you are in a lo if you're in a uh a script in lo uh, starter character scripts uh these scripts will go right into the player so uh yeah right into the player's character so all you have to do to get the humanoid is just say local hu human is equal to script dot parent uh wait for <laughs> wait for child humanoid because the parent will just be the character. So that is really nice if uh, you need to do that for some reason. Well, for this reason, of course. But um, yeah, you can use that. Wait, why did I do script .parents? Game dot So we're also going to get the player. So game.players.local player. And then, um, yeah. So now we're going to get a uh, while wait do loop so that's just like gonna run forever but you can't do while true do because uh it will just crash the game because well it just can't run that fast because uh while true do just r continuously runs but while wait do runs every I, I forgot the number but it was like point sub zero 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 two or something it was a, a really small number so it's just that the game doesn't crash okay so let's do walk speed first. So we're gonna say if human dot walk speed. Uh, actually, I am going to show you something first. Oh, why do you, okay, I'm gonna comment that out. So, uh, we need to know this to do it. So the base walk speed is 16. And what we don't want, so we want them to be at 16. And uh, if, if your game has, like, something where, like, you can change walk speed, you'd have to do some extra coding for that. But, um, yeah. So, uh, this is just the basics, though. So, um, it, we want it to be 16. So, if, uh, if it's more than 16, so let's say it's, like, 20, then they'll be able to run really fast. We don't want that. Or even if it's 10, like even if they try and go slower for some reason, I don't know why they would want to go slower, but if they did, we don't want that. So we're going to say if human dot walk speed is not equal to 16, then we're going to kick the player. So we're going to do player ki oh, kick, and then we're going to uh, add a message, like a kick message, and I'm just going to say nice hacks. So it makes them feel bad. Yeah, so uh, now we're going to do the same thing for walks, or er, for jump. Actually, you know what, let's test that first. So, when we play, uh, I'll go into my player, uh, the humanoid. So, we walk normally, right? But then if I change it to anything other than 16, like 20, it instantly kicks us, for, and it says nice hacks. Okay. So now let's do the same thing for jump speed or jump uh, power. And um, I don't like jump height because it's just odd and annoying. So I just um, use use jump power 
and the base is 50, so that's all we need to know. So to make it so that it uses jump power, at the very beginning we need to do um, human dot use uh, jump power, and we're gonna set that equal to true. Okay, now we're gonna say, uh, actually I'll name it, so I'll name this speed. And I'm gonna name this jump. Okay, if human dot jump power is not equal to 50, then player kick nice hacks. Okay, so that should work. So I'm just gonna test that real quick. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so if I go down to jump power, see, it uses jump power. So if I change this to like 100, bam, kicked. Okay, so now we need to see the basis of max health, or the health, because um, it's right here. Okay, so how this changes is, so we have a health, so like it's, uh, it's like 20, not, or, uh, yeah, it would, 20 would be one fourth. Yeah, right? I did my math right, right? Right? No, it's 25. What am I saying? I'm trash at math. Okay. Um, so 25 would be one fourth of uh, the total health. So, uh, what we don't want is for them to be like, okay, I'm just going to set mine to a thousand. And then, I mean, that will look really tiny, but, uh, then they would probably also set this to it, but what we really need to do is max health because that is how much overall health you can have. So if it is not a hundred, because that is the normal, then we will kick them. So I'm just gonna do health. Okay. And then we're gonna say if human dot max health is not oh, is not equal to a hundred then player kick nice hacks okay so that should be good let's just test that out real quick max health if i set it to 200 kicked okay so uh one thing to make sure that you uh like they just don't disable it uh what i would do is i would or in this or yeah okay so create another local script and start a character scripts and uh this is going to be and in this in this we're just going to do wall wait and then we're going to say um script dot parent dot anti cheat um dot disabled is equal to false so every frame it'll set um it, it'll set this to running so since that is going to do that i'm going to say anti cheat backup no i'll put this inside of it okay so then we're going to go back into anti cheat because what if they disable the anti cheat backup well in here all i have to do is say i'm just going to put it at the end um Actually, what I don't I'm not gonna do script dot parent. I'm just gonna do script. Uh, sc yeah, I'm just gonna do script dot parent. Okay, and then I'm gonna say um, script dot anti cheat backup uh, dot disabled is equal to false. So then these are like helping each other. So if they disable and if they disable anti cheat then anti-cheat backup will make it uh, running again. Then if they disable anti-cheat backup, then anti-cheat will um, uh, undisable it, I guess. So let's test that out. So if we go into our player, then we go into anti-cheat. Let's try and disable it, and it instantly undisables. Then if we go into anti-cheat backup, we try to disable it, doesn't let us. Okay. So that works, and that will be it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you in the. Oh wait, oh wait, wait. Okay. So in the next video, we're gonna be doing some random generation with Pearl and Noise. It's 
really fun. Um, but uh, yeah, this game will be in the description. It's uncopy lock, so you can just edit it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, bye.